Biggest mistakes in trading, part eight. Now, ignoring taxes, ignoring commissions, and ignoring fees can be detrimental, right? They can dramatically eat into your profits if you're taking tiny trades as an example, right? You wanna make sure that you are focused on, are there taxes to be paid? Yes, you're gonna have to pay taxes on your earnings. The good thing is you didn't make $100 today on Apple and you have to pay tax on it now. That happens at the end of the year on your tax returns, right? Commissions and fees, they're important, and you need to know those going in that you're not getting crushed by the broker with what it's costing you. Now, commissions have come down dramatically from where they were, but there's still some great savings in there. A, a very good friend of mine who right now is trading a strategy that is costing him $40 in commission for every trade he does. I told him about a broker yesterday that he could switch over to where it'll cost him $10 to do the exact same trade. Well, if he's only doing one trade a day, that's 30 bucks a day times five days a week. That's $150 a week in savings just alone on the commissions, right? Follow on for more trading tips and click the link in the bio for free trade ideas.